Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan has set himself up for an unpleasant task, trying to convince the people of Okinawa to accept the construction of yet another U.S. military base on their island, when they already host over two-thirds of all U.S. bases in Japan. On his visit to Okinawa, the Japanese leader was met with protesters telling him to go home, with Okinawa Governor Hirokazu Nakaima publicly repeating his rejection of the U.S.-Japan plan. Mr. Khan apologized to the people and governor of Okinawa that his party has not been able to fulfill its promise of removing Futenma Air Base out of the island. The central government still hopes to lure Okinawa's support through offering generous financial aid to Okinawa Prefecture. If really the existence of military bases really contribute to the development of the local economy where military bases exist, then Okinawa by now should be number one economical development areas within Japan, but its poorest prefecture. Masahide Ota, who served as this region's governor in the 1990s, has a different idea about economic development. In Okinawan cases, economical development requires the return of U.S. military bases because Okinawa is so, such a tiny place, you know, so we don't have land. So in order to uh, revitalize the economical development, we need land. The current U.S.-Japan plan calls for the destruction of the pristine coastline at Henoko to make way for a new U.S. Marine Air Base. If you bring in the military base there, you would betray <laughs> your own law, you know. The issue of U.S. bases in Okinawa continues to be extremely divisive not only between the central government and the people of Okinawa, but within the Japanese political system as a whole, and indeed within the ruling party itself. This is especially the case for the Okinawa chapter of the Democratic Party of Japan. Denny Tamaki is one of the ruling party's two incumbent representatives from Okinawa. If the party headquarters simply says that the U.S.-Japan plan has already been decided and that's it, then our local chapter cannot simply say yes and accept it. Analysts remain unsure if the central government is taking note. Michael Penn, Press TV, Tokyo.